So, uh, this is a quick video on how to show you how to install really any mod pack from CurseForge or uh, Modrinth. Uh, the first launcher is the most popular one, which is called CurseForge Launcher. And then there's also a more lightweight launcher called AT Launcher, which is probably better for you if you're already struggling with your performance for your PC. It's just a few clicks to install, it shouldn't take that long. Um, yeah, so just uh, the links will be in the description. So if you need it, click it there, click it there, or just search up CurseForge Download. And then um, instead of clicking the download over, we'll click the download standalone because that's just the launcher and doesn't install the other extra bloat from CurseForge. So it helps a bit more. So you see the launcher installed there. It will be di go directly into your downloads folder. So right there, uh, just open that. And then this should pop up. You just press next. Uh, accept next and it shouldn't take too long to install anyway so and it's finished installing just like that and it took a few seconds um, so what you do now you see Minecraft is already there you click browse browse the mod pack you want the big chat gaze or <laughs> better Minecraft or prominence whatever mod packs you want, or you can just search it if you want, like Steampunk. And then click the install button. We're just gonna go with uh, my mod pack, Better Minecraft. Click install, it will start installing for you. This shouldn't take too long, depending on your um, internet download speed. And we'll just wait for that to install. Now that that is finished installing, before you click apply, first go to the settings button and then go to Minecraft and then scroll down, um, scroll down to the Java settings and then allocate a memory. Place this depending on how much RAM you have. Uh, this will help a lot with your uh, computer's performance. So depending on how much RAM you have, if you have 16 gig, set it to eight. If you have 32 gig, Keep it at eight or slightly a bit more. Don't go above 10, I'd say. If you only have eight gig, it's gonna be really difficult. So you're gonna have to play around with five gig, six gig, see what uh, works best. I'm just gonna go with like eight gig right there. And then that should be good. Uh, something else you can do if you want is keep launch. Uh, this will be ticked, close launcher when game starts. Uh, I just tick this so it doesn't close every time I start. Click the X, go back to Minecraft. Your mod pack should be here. Now you just press play. The pop-up should come up for the Minecraft launcher. And from here, you just need to um, sign in with your Microsoft account. Uh, they got, they remove Mojang account. So uh, your Microsoft account and you of course have to own the game. And uh, mine's already signed in. So you're probably just gonna have to click log in here. After you're logged in there, then uh, you should be good to be press you should be able to press play. If you can't press play, it's probably gonna say demo or something. That means you don't own the game. So you're just gonna to have to check that yourselves. It's pretty self-explanatory. Now you're ready to play the game and press play. Now let's close this and then we can close the uh, Cursor's launcher. Um, now for AT launcher, you go to it. The link will be in the description or just search an AT launcher da um, download. It should come up. Um, it supports Windows. Apple and Li uh, Linux, Linux, I don't know how you say it. Now just yeah, click the setup recommended if you're on Windows, which most of you would be, I'm assuming. And then uh, we'll go into your downloads folder again as usual. Just uh, click the setup and it will start installing for you. Go next, accept, next, 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 and install. And it's done. And um, now it's gonna launch it for you. You can just close the browser. Uh, set it. You can just press save here. And now, uh, before you you can, if you want, start installing. So, yeah, might as well just show it. So for there's modrums you can install here if you want. This is where you can install modrum mod packs. And this is where you install CurseForge. So we can just press new instance. Uh, see, it doesn't work, so of course you need to do, uh, log in first. 
So I'm going to log in my Microsoft. As you can see, I am now logged in. And now if I go to Packs, uh, CurseForge, click New Instance for my mod pack. Just press Install. It will start installing for you. Uh, you can't do anything else while it installs. So yeah, just let, let you know that. So when this pops up, do not worry. It's a normal thing. Some mods opt out of having, uh, they disable third-party clients from downloading. Since this is uh, downloading from CurseForge, some mods disable it that you can't install it from a third-party launcher like this one. So it's going to manu manually install those mods for you. Don't worry, just press OK. Now it's still installing. It's probably going to do a pop-up where you need to click download those extra mods. It's just what some authors do. They just disable it because they want to earn some revenue from CurseForge. Nothing that uh, we uh, as mod pack creators can do anything about except remove the mod, but you know. So um, it's installing the mods now. These are the mods that opted out of doing the third party install. So you have to not necessarily manually install them, just click the open button so it can uh, download it from the website. So it can, and then it gets automatically placed into your mod pack folder. So if we press open here for the resource pack, it will start download downloading. It'll take about five seconds. So you gotta wait for that. And one second, and now there are downloads right there. I'm pretty sure if I go to downloads right now, it's gonna, it's still there. Okay, that's fine. Um, I'm pretty sure if I just press done, it's gonna um, put it into your mod pack, which you don't have to do. So if you want to do it quickly, just press open, 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 and then drag these uh, tabs separately so they can all install at the same time because you have to have the tab. Um, you have to have the tab active in order for it to download. So dragging these tabs separately makes them all download for you. So everything should be downloaded by now. As you can see, there they are. Um, we can close that. Go to the AT launcher. Where is it? Now that I opened all of those, um, it took it automatically out of my downloads folder. As you can see, it's not there anymore. It already placed them into the mod pack for me. Now that that's done, you can go to instances and there you're ready to play. But before you do that, go to settings, Java Minecraft, and here's the memory, uh, the memory usage again, as I did say on CurseForce Launcher, change this to whatever you want, depending on your RAM. If you have 16 gig, do about 8,000, that's eight gig. If you have uh, 32 gig, keep it at eight or to 10 if you want. Uh, if you have only eight gig, try to do five, uh, five, six or four gig. It's really hard, but yeah, just see what works. I'm gonna do eight gig and that should be done. I just press save, it's saved and instances and now I press play to start. Now I wanna show you for Modrinth. Of course you go to Modrinth, you click the new instance and it will install for you. I got a modern version right here that I just installed. Um, now, not every pack that, uh, mainly our packs from Linux Pixel Studios will have these uh, pop-ups. So it could be a one-to-one -one version or the CurseForge version. So you could join other servers um, that is uh, hosted from, not hosted from CurseForge, but if a, if a mod pack if a server is hosted from the CurseForce server pack, you can join that via a modern version because we try to make it one-to-one -one because not all mods are available on a modern that is on CurseForge. So we have pop-ups here that will make the mods that you can download the mods from so you can put it into your mods folder to make it a one-to-one -one version. I don't know how else better to explain that, but that should be accurate, I believe. Now here's the pop-up I was talking about. Mo As you can see, the, the warning says here, modern does not have some certain mods due to licensing issues. We cannot include them in the mod pack. So in order to play, you have to manually download them and their dependencies. Click the button below and put your Put them under the mods folder from your mod pack instance. Make sure to restart the mod pack afterwards. You can click the folder button in the mod launcher to access it. So open mods linked. 
it will lay, it will download every mod for you as you can see uh, all the ftb mods if we go to our downloads folder all these mods were not on modrinth and we couldn't include them ourselves so we have to manually download them to make it a one-to-one -one version of the curse forge plus uh, since ftb quest is not available on modrinth adding this will also give you quests to do so now that that is done we quit the game you go to the open folder button like it said go to your mods folder and then these ones you just downloaded you drag them into the mods folder now you can close these press play again and then you have quests now um, as it installed the ftb quest uh, mod for you um yeah so this puts it a one-to-one -to, -one to curse forge so now if you your friends set up a server uh via the curse forge mod pack uh curse forge server pack you can join them too now from the modrinth version which is pretty nice just makes it more uh convenient for you guys in order to play and yeah i'm pretty sure that should be it for how to install our mod packs or any mod pack I hope I explained well. I'm kind of tired, but, uh, and I'm not very good at these YouTube videos, but I try something. But thanks for watching and goodbye.